Hello everyone, in this video we will showcase the automatic sidecar injection of the Envoy proxy that can be used with console 1.3. This release extends console to support Envoy as a proxy for connect and enables automatic sidecar injection in Kubernetes for secure pod to pod communication. Here I have a console cluster installed using the console hem chart. Let's look at the values that were supplied to the console hem chart. You'll see we are setting the console inject enabled key to true that enables the automatic sidecar injection. We are also enabling gRPC on the clients so Envoy can talk to console clients. The Helm chart starts the console servers, console clients, and a new pod called the console connect injector that enables the automatic sidecar injection. So let's take a look at an example of how you can use console connect and automatic sidecar injection to connect a simple web server with the client. So here we have a simple web server application called Echo defined using a Kubernetes pod. You'll notice a small modification in the annotations of the pod. Here we are annotating the pod to allow the automatic sidecar injection of the connect proxy. Now let's take a look at the client application also defined using a Kubernetes pod. Here you will notice we have two annotations defined. One enables the sidecar injection and the other defines the upstream services that this client depends on. We also define the local port by which this client will access the upstream echo service. That port will only be accessible inside the pod and will use console connect to provide end-to-end -end encryption and service discovery. Let's run the two pods in Kubernetes. If you take a closer look at the Echo server and the Echo client pods, they are both up and running. You'll notice they are running two of two containers in those pods. If you take a closer look at the Echo server pod definition, we'll see the Envoy container has been automatically injected. Now let's take a look at the console UI to see what services we have running. You will notice we have two new proxy services and they're both passing their health checks. These two services are the sidecars that were automatically injected. Now let's try to connect to the Echo server using the Echo client and see what response we get back. Here I'm going to exec into the Echo client pod and then do a request using curl to the upstream service Echo. We see the response from the Echo server as expected. Now let's try to use intentions to deny all access to the Echo service. So we'll switch back to the console UI, go to intentions, and then create a new intention. Now we are denying all traffic from all services to the Echo service. Now let's try to make the request again and see the response. We see an error with an exit code. This means we have successfully denied traffic going into the echo service from any other service. Let's go back and delete this intention and try again. We now see we are again able to access the upstream echo server. This video showcases the Envoy support in console 1.3 and how easy it is to inject console connect sidecar running envoy into your kubernetes pods thank you